Hi YouTubers, it's SmokeSE77 uh, again for the next video today. So I'm in the garage again for another bulk pet tracker review. This is the one I'm sure many of you have been waiting for. Um, I kind of alluded to it earlier in my um, uh, update video. I know a lot of you guys are going to be very excited to watch this video because it's going to be very fun. And I'll tell you why it's going to be fun, air quotes. Now, this is I'm officially starting Bash 3 right now. <clears throat> So I'm, a start, I'm starting Bash 3 of the Bulk Pipe Dracos. Bash 2 is gone. Bash 1 is gone. Now we are starting Bash 3 officially. Okay. This is going to be a fun review to do. It may not be as interesting as I think it will be, but I think it's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, okay. So the Bulk Pipe Dracos re reviewing is Peter Stockaby's Preak, number 311. Uh, Blooded by Pierre Stockaby, it's straight Perique. It's manufactured by Pierre Stockaby. It contains Perique. It has no added flavorings. It's a ribbon cut. It's a bulk packaging. It's produced in Denmark. It's currently, currently available from PipesandCigars.com. Okay. Now let me tell you why this is so special. I am smoking straight Perique. I've smoked straight Latakia before. I've smoked straight Black Cavendish in a video I did a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. This is straight Perique. It's Perique, um, depending on the kind of Perique, whether it's St. James Perique, uh, Parish Perique, or it is um, uh, Green River Burley, Kentucky Perique. Very high in nicotine. So this is going to be a very fun review. This is what it looks like. It's all black. This is what it looks like. It's pure black. Just the same color as Latakia. This is going to be a fun review. The reason it's going to be fun is I'm going to get, probably get an enormous buzz from this. Uh, because if you don't know, I still get a buzz smoking um, pipe tobacco, even after many, many years. I know a lot of cigarette smokers say, or dippers, chewers say, eh, after five years of dipping, chewing, smoking cigarettes, they don't get a buzz anymore. I still do. I still get an insanely strong buzz from tobacco, from nicotine. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Um, I have my pipe packed. This is going to be fun. I may throw up. I may get really, really out of it. I should have brought a glass of water or something to drink, but I'm not going to. I'm going to see how this goes. I want to be unbiased. Uh, I'm definitely going to go and get a glass of water afterwards, probably some sugar, to, to dilute the feeling. Anyway, let's fire this up. This is straight preak, 100%. I would assume Green River Burley, Kentucky Perique. It may be St. James Perique, though I would doubt it because that's hard to find, very expensive. So this is probably just um, the cheaper version of Perique, but still has a lot of strength. Yeah, and yeah, mosquitoes. Yeah, the mosquitoes are coming out, so I don't want to get bit by mosquitoes. Bleh. Okay. This is going to be fun because Perique has a lot of nicotine. Okay. I hear smoking straight Perique is like smoking wasabi and black pepper combined. It's like eating a spoonful of wasabi. Okay. Hmm. It came pretty dry. Just trying not to inhale any. I'm just trying to uh, uh, keep the smoke all in my mouth because when you inhale, you get a stronger nicotine buzz, and uh, you don't—you definitely don't want, don't want to be inhaling this. You'd be throwing up all over the place. Okay, that was a false light. Initially, not as bad as I thought it would be. Peppery. Ooh, the retrohale is very strong. Tastes like um, hard alcohol. Okay. There was one review on tobaccoreviews.com regarding this tobacco, and they said it was overwhelming in strength, which is the highest grade you can go in terms of strength. Okay. I'm at almost five minutes. Initially, 
Not bad. I thought it was going to be wicked peppery. Yeah, I thought it was going to be really, really peppery. It might be a little bit dried out, but um, it's not bad. Kind of tastes like a cigar, actually. It has more of a, a cigar-like flavor to it. I would assume this is uh, Green River Burley, Kentucky, because it's uh, obviously St. James Perique is very expensive, very expensive tobacco to ferment and maintain, so this is probably just cheap Perique, uh, because this, you can buy this in um, one pound, five pound bags, so in Perique is very expensive, so... Yeah, I mean, the real true St. James Perique is um, a very sought-after tobacco. It's only been able to be grown in St. James um, Parish outside of Louisiana. The smell is very strong. It's not bad. Whew, that throat is really strong. <coughs> Excuse me. It has a really nice throat hit to it. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. I thought by my um, second or third puff I'd be coughing my brains out, even though I don't, I don't have, obviously inhale pipe and cigar smoke. So I thought I'd be coughing my, brain, my brains out, be choking, uh, be gagging, but I'm not. I'm getting a strength buzz. Just um, two minutes and 30 seconds in, I'm getting a strength buzz. So I'll, I'll be interested to see after um, 20 minutes of smoking is how I feel. The taste is kind of like a leather, uh, pepper, leather, alcohol flavor, kind of. It kind of tastes like a leathery brandy, maybe. Burns pretty hot. I did put a lot of uh, flame to it, but um, burns pretty hot. Damn, when you retrohale, holy crap, it really burns your sinuses. It's like you're um, basically taking a, a sniff of, um, of like hot, hot mustard or wasabi off your, um, your hand like snuff. smoke. Um, I, in general, uh, straight Latakia, straight Perique is pretty hard to keep lit because it's pure black and the darker the color is generally the harder to keep lit. It's getting a lot stronger. I can tell I'm in for a nice buzz. Now, I will tell you guys, whoa, it's making me salivate a lot. Really making me salivate. Um, my mouth is full of saliva. Well, I won't do that because it's gross, but, um... I will tell you guys I'm doing... I will be doing the, um, uh, straight Latakia. 
I will be reviewing A Stray Latakia by Peter Sockaby, which surprisingly, contrary to popular belief, does not have a lot of nicotine. This is going to be fun. Yeah, burns pretty hot. I was surprised. I was expecting this to run really cool, because um, ooh, it's making my nose run. Um, I was expecting it to burn really cool because it's uh, pure black, but um, I don't know. But yuck. Sorry about that. I just sucked in ash. Yuck. It's really making me salivate. Whew. And the strength is coming on. Mamma mia. Whew. That was a deep throat hit. I inhaled a little bit of that. Whew. I'm starting to get quite a buzz. It tastes like a really deep leather and brandy. Whew. And the strength is definitely coming in. I'd say it's about a medium right now, medium to full. You really feel it through your sinuses. It's like it's like snorting black pepper. Whew. I know that wasn't a drug, a drug reference, so. It's making my mouth water and salivate. It's like uh, eating hot mustard. Whew. Definitely uh, something you want to smoke on a full stomach. Full body and then some. I'm taking this very slowly, taking very slow puffs. Whew, I'm starting to feel a little nauseous. Whew. Excuse me. Whew. I'm very dizzy right now. After smoking this for all, for eight minutes, I'm very dizzy. It has a big strength kick. Holy shit. Strength is hovering at a medium to full right now. I really hope it doesn't go anymore. Because I have gotten sick in the past with um, certain cigars, certain pipe tobaccos. And I don't feel like throwing up tonight. My chest is pounding right now. Whoo, Jesus. Sorry about that. Whoo, I apologize. Okay. Whoo, mamma mia. Definitely a nice big spoonful of sugar. Whoo. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. I thought I was going to be, at this point, um, almost passed out. Well, not passed out, but you get the point. Don't be a smart ass. I mean, I thought I was going to be really, really, really sick at this point. But, um, whew, does it have a big strength kick? Stays lit very well. Strength is about as hay point 
This is really at the limit of what I can handle, uh, strength-wise. I'm at just over 10 minutes uh, smoking this. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not going to retrohale this much anymore. It's like eating a glob of black pepper. Whew. I'm glad I've been smoking for almost six years. Over six years, sorry. Over six years, because if I had been smoking this a couple of years ago, I would be on my bed, literally almost passed out. Because, if you don't know, I used to get really big strength kicks from tobacco. I used to go, oh my god, I'm really dizzy right now. The room is literally, whoo, spinning right now. Feels like I'm on whatever, so... Obviously, this is tobacco. Smoking tobacco for the last time. Don't be a smart ass. I'm not smoking anything odd. Smoking tobacco. Whew. Mama Mia Pizza Rama. Whoo, damn. It has a very decent strength kick. Oh my god, I just, I just turned around, and damn, I, my head is spinning right now. Holy shizzles. My nizzles. Whew. Okay. Let me start trying to relight like this. It kind of reminds me of a tobacco I smoked a, a long time ago. This is straight preak called Bowlegged Bear by Cornell Deal. And that tobacco is very strong also. Yeah. It's burning quite hot. Yeah, it's pretty dried out. Yeah, it's also kind of juicy. Ooh, damn. Let's get into the rain is this. The strength is full. Really, this is the limit of what I can handle strength-wise. My lips are tingling because of how spicy this is. It's like eating pure black pepper. Whew. I am, my head is, is on fire right now. I'm, my head is spinning. The taste and body, it's actually at this point kind of mild. Um, so taste and body, I'd say for the most part is... <coughs> Uh, medium to full, extremely strong. It's like eating um, straight black pepper. I mean, it's a combination of black pepper, leather, brandy. Oh my god. Whew. Holy shit. Sorry, I burped. Damn. Holy crap. Okay. Whew. Let's see the flavor. There's no flavors. No ameliorants. I'll give you some way to go by. 
Uh, no taste, uh, no flavors, no amaranth. Yeah, this is done. Let's see, the tongue bite is tolerable. It's a little bit of a bite there. It's, I think this is pretty dried out, honestly. Um, honestly, pretty dried out. Car going by. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the room note, this is going to stink. This is extremely strong. Room note is very unpleasant, I'm sure. Uh, the retrohaling, it's like taking hot mustard and putting it on the back of your hand like snuff and going like that. Extremely strong. Whew. Let's see. The, what is yesterday to our pipe smoker? I mean, if you're into full-bodied, full-strength, knock your freaking ass off tobaccos, sure. If you're a beginner, stay clear of this. This is... Whew. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, calm down. Whew. Okay, car going by. Okay. Would I suggest to recommend to an hour pipe smoker? I would only say do this if you want to. If you really want something that has a ton of strength, a ton of body, a lot of flavor to it, good. If you are not a big fan of strength, stay clear of this. I have been smoking for over six years, cigars and pipes. This gave me an insanely strong head rush. My head is spinning right now. I'm, I'm not really feeling sick or anything, but man, does it have a big strength kick. You really have to love vitamin N, nicotine, to like this tobacco. You really have to love nicotine. Surprisingly, it didn't make me feel sick. What it made me feel was more dizzy. Um, not really sick, sick, more dizzy. After smoking that for eight, 16, 17, 18 minutes, it made me feel more dizzy than anything. Not overwhelmed, not, not, um, not, um, sorry, I just went by. Yeah, not overwhelmed in terms of strength, but a fair word of warning. You really, really, really have to love nicotine to like this tobacco. If you don't like nicotine, stay well clear of it. This is one of the strongest tobaccos I've ever, I've ever tried. Um, overwhelming in terms of strength. Uh, makes me very dizzy, very lightheaded. I don't think I can smoke in our vault this oil burner, sorry. Anyway, comment, race if you want to. Very good tobacco, but very strong. Anyway, uh, I give it a 10 for rating. Probably about a 7 out of 10. It's just too strong in my book. Um, it's up there with Irish Flake, um, Rope Tobacco. Extremely strong, very overwhelming. I'm going to get a glass full of um, iced tea or water. I really have to uh, do something about this buzz. Anyway, bye.